Hello everyone, back out on the water in my little yellow kayak. Got a pretty flat start to the day, although I see some wind in the distance. It's mostly cloudy and we've got some rain coming in. So my plan is to try to beat the rain, but that doesn't end up working out so well. But what I'm going to do to start is to paddle across the lake and then fish a little bit on that side and then work my way back. So at least I'm, I'm headed back to the ramp um, when the rain catches me. Sometimes during prefrontal conditions, the fish are pretty fired up. Uh, on this day, not so much. But you never know until you try and you can't catch them sitting on the couch. So I'm out early and I'm going to give it a go. It's a little cooler. This is late September when this was shot. The water temperatures are definitely dropping. I've got a sweatshirt on. Actually feels kind of nice not to be sweating. So that's the plan. I'm going to kick the video into fast forward mode to make some of the paddling go a little bit easier. Always easier to paddle in fast forward mode. I try to just put my head down and paddle to make better time. And there's a few tricks with paddling. But most people when they paddle they want to pull the paddle towards them and your arms last a little longer if you punch. So and even after all these years I still revert to pulling but you really want to punch left, punch right, punch left, punch right and get your triceps working too instead of just your forearms and biceps I guess. So I try to mix it up. And then if I get tired, I take a few casts. Over to my right, I noticed that a single fish broke the water. So I'm paddling over to go investigate. But I kind of lost them in the, the ripples. Plus they swim around, especially if that fish was chasing bait. So I'm kind of fan casting around trying to locate that fish or multiple fish. And I hooked up with one. It's not a bad fish, not a bad start. I got that one on a super fluke. One of my go-to lures. Ah, he's all right. The rain's just starting to catch up with me, so I put on my my jacket, got the hood up, and the rain isn't so hard yet that I have to stop filming picks up a little bit more later. That I think was a small pickerel that chased my lure in. And whatever it was I couldn't catch him so I just moved on. I was fishing off of a point here. Just kind of blind casting off that point. There's another largemouth. Not bad, not bad.
That's a small mouth. You can tell just by the way it's jumping already. Going crazy. As they usually do. Got him. Yeah, overall it was a little slow, uh, but they seemed to eat the fluke all right until the wind died, which has happened here. It's still raining, but I've lost the wind, and it seemed like without the wind they didn't want to eat the fluke as well. So I tried a swim bait. This is an X Zone Swammer. Really like that little swim bait. I'm starting to use it more than uh, Kitek or you know some other small swim baits. It's not super durable, but it has a nice roll, and that tail kicks nicely, and the fish seem to like it. So I keep throwing it. This is a little pickerel. I thought I had something a little better, but the little pickerel liked to find me. And then I worked my way back to the launch. Uh -oh. I got no wind, so I picked up my BFS rod. They even stopped hitting the, uh, the swammer. And this pickerel is still pretty green, but I want to get him in before he cuts me off. And he ended up slicing my finger open. Uh, so, you know, I was reaching for him to try to grab him before he cut me off. And I should have probably just grabbed the net first. But, um, eh, you know, every once in a while the pickerel gets you. Sometimes you get the pickerel, sometimes the pickerel gets you. And today was just my lucky day. They've got really sharp teeth, and what happened was, I went to reach for him, he opened his mouth, and then sliced my finger, right there. And it's sort of like being sliced with a paring knife. Doesn't feel too good, but I'll survive. Then I fished around a little bit near the launch, but once the wind died, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to take a few more casts, see if I could pick up another fish, but didn't work out. Okay, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll list all the gear in the video description. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya!